You know, I could honestly understand why people would think that Jesus was unfair or messed up. For example, there's an instance where Jesus sends his disciples into a storm knowing that it was coming. All right, so in a way, he purposely put the disciples' lives in danger here. All right, so what was going on? Jesus had just finished doing that miracle that a lot of you are probably familiar with, with the bread and the fish where he feeds 5,000 people. And then we see in the Bible that it says that Jesus tells the disciples to go one way and the crowd the other. In fact, it says that he insisted that they would go. So what happens is, is that the storm comes while they're at sea and they all pretty much think that they're going to die. By the way, this is when Peter walks on water and i'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that part of the story what you may not be familiar with is that towards the end of the story the bible tells us that the disciples were amazed because they had yet understood the meaning of the miracle of the feeding of the five thousand, right revealing to us that the entire time jesus intended for them to go through the struggle where they could have lost their lives well not really because he's jesus and he knew that they weren't gonna die this actually reminds me a lot of what Goku did with Gohan when he fought Cell, right? As you guys remember, Goku and Gohan had been training in the hyperbolic time chamber. And Gohan was put through a lot of trials and tribulations during that time in order to strengthen him up. When we fast forward and Gohan actually fights Cell, we see that Goku gives Cell a senso bean, which is basically this thing that will help him heal him up so he's at 100% when he fights Gohan. Now, a lot of people look at this and think, why is Goku being crazy here and basically taking the little bit of an advantage that Gohan may, Gohan may have had? But the thing is, is that Gohan by nature is not a fighter. So in order for him to break out of his shell and reveal and come to terms with the power that he has, Goku knew that he needed to face a villain, right, an enemy that he may not be able to overcome. And that villain was Cell. During this fight, ultimately, Goku knew that Gohan would be able to overcome Cell only if he was pushed to the brink, which is what ultimately happened, and this is where we get Super Saiyan 2. So in both cases, Jesus and Goku take their disciples and they put them in what would seem unfair situations so that they may grow. When it comes to Gohan, he grew in power, giving us the Super Saiyan 2 transformation that Goku knew he could transform to from the beginning. And from Jesus' perspective, him putting the disciples out to sea, him showing that he could calm the storm, not only strengthened their faith, but also helped them come to the realization that he indeed was the Son of God. Moral of the story here is, is that the people that love us will not put up with our mediocrity. Instead, they will push us to even greater heights. And I think that this is what we see definitely with Goku and even more so with Jesus and his disciples. So at the end of the day, do Jesus' actions seem unfair? At surface level, yes. But at the same time, if we look in deeper, we see that he had a purpose for this entire event, which ultimately served to edify his disciples. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, this is one to remind you that we must persevere. Peace.